G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here, back with more of our Skyrim Anniversary Edition Arbalist playthrough, where we are purely using a crossbow. Um, absolutely loving this playthrough. I think the crossbow is the only option if you want to do ranged, you know, ranged physical combat. I mean, you know, magic, different story. But, yeah. Um, damn it, I was hoping... I've been throwing away all the other soul gems I've got. We need some soul gems to charge the enchantment on our crossbow. What is that greater soul gem going to do? Is that going to, to do... Abs that's not going to do absolutely everything. Wow. Okay, let's get another greater. Uh, no, maybe not. I'm going to sell these and these because I'm not actually, uh, you know, I don't have the spell or anything like that to recharge soul gems and I'm not carrying any empty ones on me. So I'm better off selling those. Do, uh, do I have much other stuff to sell? It looks like I might have some stuff. Yeah, we've got bone arrows, dwarven daggers. Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff there to sell. That's good. Um, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff everywhere to sell. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Did we give you anything I need you to carry? What have you got? You've got nothing, Hilda. Yeah, that's all right. We might actually get you to wait here at home because I don't think we're really in a situation at the moment that we need Hilda following us. It's only if I know I'm going to be doing a really, like, big dungeon that I feel like I need Hilda to be following me. So how about you wait here, Hilda? There we go. Now, I didn't really have much of a plan for this episode yet. Um, and I don't remember what I talked about in the last episode. Um, we could go and look at getting some of the other pets of Skyrim. Um, oh, no, there was. There was some armor. The Vigil Enforcer armor set. From the Vigilance of Stendar, that would be a good set of stuff. Because we went and got the Spell Knight. We've done that. We haven't done the Vigilance one. And there, I mean, there are other art, there are other armor sets that we can look at, but they're all light armor, and I'm not really interested in using light armor at the moment. We did get the Daedric Plate set, which is fine, but um I need, I'm liking the silver armor that I've currently enchanted for myself because I've got lots of archery enchantments on there, which is really good. Um, the other thing is, though, is that it would be really good to start getting some more dwarven metal um, and there's lots of places that we can do that, but the easiest place to start is in Markarth. Hmm. Um. Vigil Enforcer set. Okay, let's go to the, vig the Hall of the Vigilant. Actually, it's probably not going to exist anymore. I wonder what happens to this quest if you've already started the Dawnguard quest and the Hall of the Vigilant has been destroyed. Very interesting. Can't fast travel from this location. Of course I can't. I'm still in my house. Okay. 
and just a quick review of our skills before we go much further. Yes, I need some more levels in smithing. Ultimately, I need eight more levels to get to arcane blacksmith, which is the next major thing. And then level 70 will give me glass smithing. And I'm really looking forward to that. Although there is not a, a, a new set of glass armor. There's not like a heavy glass armor set, which is a little bizarre. We could certainly do with spending a few more points in the heavy armor tree. And we have some more stuff that we can do in the archery tree. So I think we're going really well. In fact, this is the highest I think I've ever gotten the archery skill to. I don't recall getting to about a level 70 before. But I may have. Okay. Dawn Star. Now I'm pretty sure it's you just head almost straight south along the road from Dawn Star. And you end up at the Hall of Vigilance. The road runs right past it, I think. Uh, that's my Dwarven Bolts of Shock. I don't think I need those at the moment. Just the standard Dwarven Bolts will do. Actually, does Dawnstar have an Apothecary, an Alchemist? I think it might. Oh, uh, no, wait, I don't think it does. Because that's that. I think this is the blacksmith. Unless one of those two over there is an apothecary, which I'm pretty sure they aren't. Don't like my chances. I just want to get... Uh, I want to see if there's any more... Um... Oh, no, here we are. We're right. There is. Good. Mortar and Pestle. Oh, that's right. I remember this one. Yeah. Old lady. She's got a mission. Gives you a ring or something. Uh, but what I want is... Your Void Salts. Thank you. Bet you there's more Void Salts up here somewhere. Definitely fire salt there. That's just salt pile. That's spriggan sap. I mean, I don't want to steal it, but I wish... I wish I had the ability to purchase the stuff that's sitting on the shelves sometimes. I mean, I know there's a mod that you can do to get it, but... I'm getting used to playing unmodded so that I can get the um, extra achievements that I never got previously playing the game modded. I always feel like this road is moderately dangerous. Ooh, what sort of ore is that? It looks like it's just iron, but... Yeah. Double check anyway. You never know. Sometimes... Uh, which one is it? Uh, Moonstone looks a bit like iron. At least that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, there'll be some wolves up this way normally. There's a good chance that there will be a 
ice wolf or whatever it's called with them. But it won't just be normal wolves. I... Yep. There's one right there. I think there's usually some more some more walls along here somewhere too. Maybe it's frost spiders I'm thinking of. Is this the Hall of the Vigilance? I feel like it is. I can never remember, I don't go here often enough. But if this isn't it, we'll try somewhere else. Yeah, this is it because it's on fire. I don't recall if there are vampires. Still here during the attack or not? But we're going to be careful just in case. I meant live vampires, by the way. Vampire dust, vampire armor. Kittle. Another death hound. Burned book, burned book. Vampire. Death hound. So there is supposed to be a book we find here so that's why I'm sort of looking at every book uh, it's not the ethereum wars How much is that worth 15 I might actually take that I think it's that note yes this is the note Cassette, I've reached, I received your letter about sudden disappearance of our patrols in the pale. The news is troubling for sure. My old partner Fenric was among them and he was not only a vigilant forcer but the finest warrior I knew. For him to be missing is no small thing but perhaps fate has conspired for these events to happen so that I may repay the life debt I owe him. I will leave for Dawnstar in the morning and take a room at the inn. If, any, if I learn anything you'll be the first to know. Okay. We'll take that with us, although I'm trying to get in the habit of not taking those things because they end up just cluttering up my inventory. And just some gold in the chest. So I don't think there is anything else significant in here. I mean, beyond the dead bodies actually no what it, what we're missing is the hall of stender the hall of the vigilance has a cellar can we still get to that i think i think the entrance is just there and it's been collapsed so no i don't think we can get down to it anymore 
is the problem. Unless there is like a, se a secret entrance out back or something like that. There was nothing over there. We already searched the barrel. We might as well grab that light, even though I don't need it. Can I not go out this way? I can. There's no, no, there's no secret back way down into the cellar from there. There's no door there leading into the cellar. There's nothing here leading into the cellar. I think once the... Once they've been attacked, there's no going back. You cannot get down to the cellar at all by the looks of it. Which is not surprising, really. It's something that you that you learn once you've played it a little bit. If you want to have any sort of major interactions with the Vigilance of Stendar, you've got to do it before you start any of the Dawnguard questline. Because once you start the Dawnguard questline, you basically um, doom the Vigilance of Stendar. Okay, he recommends we go back to... Dawnstar, and we're going to look for this guy in the inn. And hope we're not getting attacked. I work for the Wind Peak Inn. You should head on inside. I was going to, but it's just strange to see anyone wearing a hood. Beyond, you know, like the odd thief in Riften. See if there's any other interesting notes, books on any of the desks. Have it in the woods. Does that do anything when I read it? Okay, mysterious note. Meet me at the Windward Ruins tonight. I have information. Come alone. Where is this place he wants me to meet? Oh, the Windward Ruins. I remember that place. I haven't explored it yet. What's in the pot, young man? I hope it's something delicious and not like gruel for the guys in the mines. You know, give them a nice hearty stew or something. the time 3 35 p.m we might have to wait a few hours but uh that's all right any any ore deposits i mean i'm gonna go in here early just to see what's around oh really Stand still, you little vermin. Can I get my bolts back out of either of you? I cannot. The 
that was lucky. Damn it, it's not a filled common soul gem. Orcish plate armor, though, that sells nicely. I haven't actually sold anything recently. I need to go and sell stuff. Oh. So the guy I was supposed to meet has been killed as well. That's his journal. Vigil Veteran Armor. Vigil Veteran Boots, Veteran Gauntlets, Veteran Open Helmet. Anything else in here? Nothing happens when we activate the pedestal. Um, what does the books, the, uh, where was it? Wasn't that? Ah, that one. That's the journal. Uh, check the suspect's pockets for suspicious items. Optional tra Okay, let's read this first and work out what we're going to do. There are trail people at night. Find the cult of Daedra worshippers. Come on, go away, script, so I can actually read properly. The investigation has moved slowly, but that was to be expected. The townsfolk have their own problems, and a few pay any mind to the fate of Stendhal's Chosen. I will write what I have see pieced together so far in hopes it provides some clarity. From what I've gathered, Fenric came to Dawnstar to investigate rumours of Daedra worship. There was some thought that this cult was the source of the town's recurring nightmares, although it's unclear how much of this is true. Then one night, Fenric disappeared without a word to the innkeeper or anyone in town. It was then that the other patrols started to go missing, and without, also without a trace of leads, I have one. The other day, the innkeeper found something curious behind the inn. In the midst of emptying the trash, it was an elven dagger, its blade warm with blood, and upon further examination, tipped with poison. The craft of the blade can mean many things. Perhaps this Daedric cult is elven in origin. Moreover, elven weapons are fashioned from quicksilver, and there is a mine in close proximity. The poison, too, could have originated from a nearby source. It's also likely that our murderer moves at night when the eyes of the town are blind to their heathen worship. As such, I suspect three individuals as possible owners of the blade. Bereth the elf, who complains of the cold and yet also resolute in staying. Harold the miner, who works the ore from which the murder weapon was fashioned. Lastly, Irene the Traveller, who seems to know more about alchemy than the providers of the pestle. All three seem to be active in the small hours, but I can only follow one at a time. Still doing so will prove useful as they will either lead me to their place of worship or eliminate themselves as suspects. But first I must meet the writer of this note. Perhaps they know more about the dagger or have information they can narrow down the search. Very good. But I am also interested in... This armor. Uh, so my current armor is 168. Without being upgraded, this is giving me 140. And the most important question here is, how does it look? Well, to be honest, not terrible. But I still prefer the silver armor for the moment. But it is possible that when we upgrade this armor, it may be better than the silver armor that we currently have. So that is something to keep in mind. We are going to head out of here when we can find a doorway that works for us. There we go. And we're going to go back into Dawnstar. Or will we? Yeah, I think it's safe to do that. I wanted to go and see about upgrading the armor, but we'll we'll leave that. We won't worry about that. Um, I work for the wind. Actually, curious if the dagger mentioned is still somewhere behind the inn. Doesn't look like it. Oh, 
one of the three people is out walking the, around the town as we speak. Which one is it? The elf. Irene. Uh, she's the traveller. I work. Seems like no one is. Hmm. Blades, helmets. No. Take a look. I want to sell stuff. What do I want to sell? All of the bone arrows, some dwarven daggers. Yeah, I'm going to sell the last of those. The ice arrow. Orcish dagger. I'm going to sell the orc plate armor because I don't want it. The vampire armor, definitely. And I have so many pelts back at home that... Uh, so much leather back at home that I don't need to sell any of that. You have... I don't need any more silver ore. I think I've got enough silver ore to upgrade my helmet. I just can't upgrade it because I have enchanted it. Um... Looking to protect yourself or forge every day. I think I'm supposed to follow these ones at night. Yeah, and it's not really night. We can check the suspects pockets for suspicious items. I'm not a pickpocket. I'm not going to do that. Um I've got this funny feeling, and you know, could be wrong, I've been wrong before, but I've got this funny feeling that all three of them are going to be, and I haven't looked through the quest at all, I, I do not know what's going on, but just a part of me says, well, you know, maybe it's going to be a case of that they are all... So can right, someone else is mining that. I will come over this way. What's over here? Could have taken those potions, but you know what? I don't really want them. Get a torch out. What's uh What's happening around here? I don't think I've ever actually mined in this mine before. If I'm honest. And it's a reasonable way to spend a few hours game time. Not real time, of course, but game time. So that I can follow these guys at night. Um, dum -de -dum -dum -dum. let's make that five, that six, so I can quickly get back to that if I need to, when I need to, don't want any of that. Someone was doing something there, excuse me, doing something there, but there isn't actually any or there, so that was a bit weird. definitely something funny going on here because it's not actually giving me any ore. Let's start that again. That's better. There we go. 
Right. Ooh. Oh, you're doing that lot. What, are you doing that lot? You are. Okay. Uh, what else is there? Nothing here, nothing... Oh, big spot there, but you're doing that. Be careful. Oh, shush. What's the time? 6.30 p.m. Not good. No, I'm here to survey for cheese. I'm a cheese surveyor. We've heard of um, some vast deposits of ancient mammoth cheese have been found in the region. We thought it would be good to do some extra surveying. Uh, what ore have I missed? We got that one. Previously, I haven't done the one she's at. Done that. It's really only that one. All of the ones that are up here, I think I have done now. Haven't I? Certainly looks like it. If I'm lucky, in a minute or so, she will move on from there and he might start heading out. And I might be able to quickly just mine this lot and then follow him. Ooh, that's nice. Mything book. No, I told you. A cheese surveyor. Yes. She's finished. Right. Where is our altist? He's right there. Probably a little early for him to be knocking off. It's only 7.30 at night. He's not moving yet. Let's head outside and see if the other two are moving around. There's only two on the map. Ah, they're both in the tavern. Let's smelt up all of this ore while we're waiting. Very good. We well, think we've got some more quicksilver ore at home that we can make into one more ingot. Pretty sure, anyway. So what we might just do... What's the... Oh, yeah. Let's just do that. Wait the hour. Oh, 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 oh. Are they all in the inn? They are. Okay. Yep. 
G'day, g'day, is that Kaylock? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Hopefully I got that right. Can't sleep well, no matter how... Thoring runs the inn. Keep your head. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. Hey, Lash. Oh, yes, I see. I see how that would be Kalash. Very good. You should quit working in the Eastern Mine. Legelf's no good to work for. Legelf is a good man, and I'm not running out on him now. Oh, got a bit of interest in your boss, do you? No. Not that it's any of your business. He's going into the room. She's sitting down over there. <laughs> Trying to look nonchalant as I keep an eye on all of these guys to see what they are doing. Should I... Wait another hour. See where they go. Let's do that. They're all going to get up and leave. I had a feeling they would. Oh no, they're not leaving. They're all just hanging around. Okay, there was a mod that gave this armor as well, was there? Oh, that's all right. She's the first one to leave. I shall follow her. Oh no, there's can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. He went back inside, so let's just uh start to follow her. Hmm, she's heading outside of town. The other two are still in the... ...in. Another one's come out of the inn as well. And you know what? I think I'm right. I think he's coming this way. No, uh, maybe not. The, oh yeah, I do have the local map. Yeah, no, he's going down somewhere else. I mean, if she turns right, she's going over there to that place that we were just at. Which makes it a good chance that she is 
one of the Daedra worshippers. Or this could be a giant red herring. I don't know why red herrings are considered. Same thing as a wild goose chase. Oh no, she's going over this side. There's nothing over that way. That was a strange thing to do. And he went back into the mine. Okay. I'm glad I'm getting sneak progress. Not going to complain about that. Hmm. She didn't turn right to go to that place. I mean, there are other places she, she could be going, but... I wonder if she's going all the way back to the Hall of the Vigilant. I don't actually have to hide in the plants for Sneak to work. But it makes it seem more real to me. the other one left the inn. No, Vereth is still in the inn. So Harold went back to the mine, Vereth, Vereth has stayed in the inn, and Irileth, or whatever her name is, was it Irileth? Irene. Where did I get Irileth from? Oh, Irileth is the the um, Dunma uh bodyguard or whatever you want to call her captain of the guard for um what's his face the Yarl of Whiterun doing I was gonna say where the hell did she go she's there but what she was standing there and then suddenly she's down there There is something funny going on there. Is she actually moving or? Why is she not walking properly? House Carl. I 
don't know what the what is wrong with this animation. I'm assuming she's supposed to be walking very slowly, but instead she's just teleporting five meters at a time. Bereth is on the move. I can't see that section of the map anymore. I want to sort of keep an eye on the roads and stuff as well, just in case there are people coming to meet her. I'm curious as to whether Bereth is. It looks like he is coming. Oh, maybe not. But he's no. He's got to be moving away from Dawnstar. Going up the top there. She has. Somehow she's up there. By the looks of it. couple of minutes so I can quickly grab some gold ore. It's more of a case of I can't not grab that gold ore. So... She's not a Daedra worshipper because that's not a Daedric shrine. Be gone. I have no wish to speak to anyone right now. Okay, so what is our other guy doing? No, he's still down in the city. Let's take a quick way back. As we can, maybe even run for a little bit.
will show those to me. Ape his detection. So that's obviously the bad guy. Mm. No, no, maybe not. Maybe I've got to just wait until he gets to his final location. Before it says that he's completed. I don't see any sign of him. I think he's heading up that mountain though. Goes. Hang on, he was halfway up the mountain a minute ago. Okay, he's trying to go up that way somewhere and he can't. The path isn't all that good. We might go into the mine and just check if we can quickly and easily um, get the miner off our list. Then we know it's that guy. We just have to find a way to follow him. It might also give him a chance to get further up the mountain without us being there. I think if we see him go back to work, it'll probably say that he's not the the one we need to worry about. And it'll be Verith. Unless there's a hidden passage back there that he disappears into. Why did I not notice that there was a button there earlier? Big save. Maybe the button wasn't there. Get out my bow. Switch to my exploding rock bolts. Uh, this looks rather daedric to me. Completed. Find the cult of worshippers. Destroy the Daedric Cult. I think the guy who's standing up there is probably the most dangerous one. What do you reckon? How did that miss? Vampire Thralls? So it's not a Daedric cult, it's a vampire cult. That missed.
There we go. Vigilant of Stender. These are all Vigilants of Stender. What's going on? This is not right. Unless they were trying to convert them all. There's probably going to be a note on this guy's body. Yep, Fenric's Journal. And there's the Vigilant Corrupted Armour. Don't like the sound of that. Maybe they were trying to corrupt other Vigilants. Getting distracted by shiny things. And Vigilant Enforcer Armour. Vampire Thrall. Nothing in that one. Vigil Silver Hand Helmet. Vigil Silver Hand Gauntlets. And Armour. Right. I'm carrying too much. And at the same time, I'm starting to hear stuff like someone's moving around. Ah. Uh, What can I get rid of? Probably nothing. Ah, there is something I can do. I shall do it in a minute. So... we ha There's multiple sets of armor here. There's the Vigil, the Vigil Veteran armor. The Silver Hand armor. The Enforcer armor. And the Corrupted armor. I thought there was only three sets of armor. This says there's four. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Magic, alteration, transport, pet, Hilda. Need you to carry something for me, Hilda. How about you carry... Well, you can't carry too much more. That's enough. I can carry the rest. Actually, we want the torch out. Uh, burnt corpse with bone meal on it. Pile of bone. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else around here of any interest. Haven't searched these bodies up here, so another vampire thrall with one of my exploding bolts on it. There's Harold. He's got a note. And then there's another vampire thrall. Wish there was something I could do about that, because that looks rather disgusting. Uh, no idea what that's all about. Don't want the wine. What's in the chest? Nothing that I really want, but I can sell it all. Elven helmet, elven sword. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing up here. Just a pile of bones. I think I searched those already, didn't I? Alrighty then. 
Oh. Notes on dissection. Bite marks on the shoulder are curious. Need to rule out the possibility of werewolf contamination. All right. Uh, while we're still here... I don't know whether this is... Yeah, that probably is Molag Bow, but... I don't know. We'll read in the notes and we'll find out. So, we have... Uh, Benrick's journal. So he was one of the Brotherhood, the Vigilance. Azarian once told me I was the strongest warrior in all of Tamriel, but that is a lie. A strong man would have ended his life long ago. He would have delivered Stendar's justice upon his soul. I'm a weak man, and so I live. The Vigil teaches us that vampires are an abomination to be destroyed without mercy. But in my cowardice, I began to entertain the blasphemous that vampirism had a cure. Never had the subject been broached by the keepers. After all, blah, blah, blah. Molak Bull's price was steep. So, yes. Uh, I was to gather thralls and build an altar deep in the mines of Dawnstar for the purpose that which only became clearer as the nights went on. To that shrine, I was to sacrifice the lives of nine of my brothers and sisters, one for each divine. At times, my resolve has wavered, but the prince has offered proof in the form of Galua Rathari. His experts prove that a cure exists through a dream of being sliced by thousands of tiny knives from my bowels inside out. As the town speaks of nightmares in the presence of Amina, I now see why Dawnstar was chosen for this unholy vigil. With only three sacrifices left, the ritual is almost complete. Perhaps when the accounting is done, Stendar will show me mercy. Well, the mercy of a quick death at my hand? Uh, Miner's Note. The door to the temple is finished. Look for two rugs in a crate at the far end of the mine. Walk down the shaft to the dead end. On your right should be a button. Press it and the door will open. I think that's the only notes I found. Certainly looks to be the case. Right. Um, come with me. Not that I need to because I can just summon you at any time. But I don't want you left in here by yourself, little Hilda. Close. Almost nicked her tail. That should be the end of... Yes, that was the end of that quest line. Very good. So we're going to take those back home. And I've got a feeling the Silver Hand Vigil Armor is probably going to be uh, increased using Silver. Um, but we'll have a look at what... Oh, I don't have any steel. Um, wait for me at home. She will start walking. I will get to home before she does, but I can always summon her when I get home. Let's go into... What's the time? 6 a.m. Let's wait for a couple of hours. I'm pretty sure when I talked to these guys last time, they didn't have any steel. I help my looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Yeah, you've got no steel. Um, oops. Let's go up to this other mine. I don't remember what's in this mine up here, but. Uh, I want to go through and mine anything I can out of it, because, unless it's just an iron mine, in which case I don't care. Iron breaker mine. Right. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. The, ebon the um, ebony shard mine doesn't have ebony in it. That's iron. That's iron. 
Nothing here. What do we got down this way? Nothing there. That's iron. That's iron. This is suspicious. Well, maybe not. And that's all iron. Okay, I don't need iron, so... Okay, I do need steel. Um, because I, I am making the assumption that at least some of this armor is going to be upgraded with steel. And I don't have any. Uh, do any of you guys... No. These dreams are real. No. You're wrong to come here, stranger. No. Okay. No one there has anything to sell. So, um I Suppose it's well, let's start at solitude. Let's just do a quick zip around to the places we've been to. See if we can't buy some steel. I'm on the lookout. How much money do I have? Not a huge amount. Uh, steel will be useful. Void salts are always useful. How far away from the level are we? A little bit. It's good. Take a look. Ooh, three void salts. Thank you very much. That's another 30 exploding bolts. Not going to complain about that. And I've already got another one in my inventory, so that's 40 exploding bolts. And maybe bits and pieces will have some more. Let's have a look. What's the time? 4 p.m. Why is there no one behind? Oh, you are behind the counter. What have you got for sale? Ingredients. No void salts. Miscellaneous. No steel. You have refined malachite. You have moonstone ore. Uh, I'll take another greater soul gem and those lessers that are filled. So I can use those right now to try and recharge. The crossbow. Uh, what else? Up here and see if the blacksmith has any steel. Seems there's no end. Hmm. Blades, helmets. I hate the Blades, interface doing that. Armor. So annoying. Steel ingots. Eight. It's not a huge amount. I'll take that. I should buy Crundium Ore if I see it as well, because I can always make steel with that. Because I have plenty of iron. Iron Ore, which I can then combine with Corundium Ore to make steel. Oh, and by the way, the thing that I said I hated about the interface, there seems to be a thing with the miscellaneous one. If I click on the word miscellaneous... At least when I'm in the selling menu, True. Take a look. it won't happen here because he doesn't have misc, but I, my in, my misc it might do it. No, it doesn't. If I'm buying something from someone and I cl click on their miscellaneous one, it seems to kick me out of the menus. But if I click over to the side of it, it goes in. I don't know what it is. I don't really care. It's just a little bit annoying. Do you have any crossbows? You have plenty of bolts, and I don't want cork bolt bolts. Oh, excuse me. I don't want bone mold bolts, although they do a lot of damage. They do more than dwarven bolts do, but I don't think I can make exploding ones of those. Um, and I can make dwarven bolts so easily. Uh, you have an imperial crossbow. You have iron bolts, which are absolute junk. You have a Nordic crossbow, which I know is just as good as my 
elvish one so there's no sense buying it and i don't think i might actually be able to upgrade make that an, an, an uh, enhanced one at this point but i'm not going to muck around with that i'll stick with it orcish bow can't enhance it yet orcish bolts not as good as dwarven silver bolts equivalent to steel silver crossbow equivalent to the imperial crossbow not as good as my elven ones and i'm not using steel bolts anymore so nothing from you and i don't have much to sell well, actually i do i completely forgot about all of these that i just picked up uh but we're keeping all of that very good perhaps you will Um, next, let's go down to Markarth. No, that's Karth Waston. Markarth. Um, I actually need to consider doing some more exploration around Markarth so that, A, I can get Dwemer. Uh, if I do the Kolskega mine, that's a gold mine, literally. Um, and not that destination, I'll get rid of that. But if I come down here to that place near Dushnik Yarl, I'll get some more Dwemer. And I really do need Dwemer, that's the thing. So I think what I'm going to do is, after I've done this quick run to try and get some steel and a few other supplies, what's the time? 2 a.m. Okay. Let's rest for four hours. Oh, uh, sorry. Six hours. There we go. Uh, yeah, going to try and get all these supplies together. So I'm looking for steel. I'm looking for void salts. I'm looking for... Um... I'm not... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Actually, that's sort of it at the moment. I don't really want any more soul gems, although if there's, if there's grand soul gems, I will take them. I don't want to get too many... Yeah, there's a little trick with that. I'll show it to you in a sec. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too many filled soul gems at the moment. I'll take grand ones if people have them. Come back you so if you want to skip through the rest, actually, let me let me buy the other stuff I want in Markarth first, and then we'll rest before we leave Markarth. And I'll show it to you then. So, nice little trick I picked up from Major Slack, a YouTuber who does. He has his Major Slack Attack channel where he does nothing but Skyrim videos. Hey. So, you're interested Void salts. potions and ingredients? You don't have any. Thank you. Probably does have void salts. I don't know what TFC is. I'm not a console player, so I don't know what you're talking about, I'm afraid. So this is a trick that only works in the console. Oh, she doesn't have any steel either. Um, if you want to speed up your rest on the PC, what you do is you drag this to however many hours you want to rest for. So let's say I want to rest for, for three hours. Hold the mouse down and then hit E or enter, either one. And then you can drag that back to the left and it'll just finish immediately. So it rests for the amount of time you ask it to, and it's done. Um, okay. Do I want to go Falkreath? River? Yeah, let's go to Falkreath. I'm doing the I'm doing the rounds, so why not? And once again, it's the middle of the night. Uh, 
I might as well see if I think I've probably got a few other things to sell here. So yeah, I'll show you again. You go to eight, for example, you hit E, and then as soon as you hit E, you drag it back to the one and it just boop. Damn it! Oh, stop moving! Yeah. Let's do that again because unfortunately I shot the wrong person and now they wanted to kill me. Okay, managed to do it that time without mistakenly shooting any of the guards. God. Put that away. When did that... It only went to 4am. It didn't do the full 6 hours that I wanted it to rest for, or 8 hours or whatever it was. It's interesting. So let's rest for another four hours. There we go. Try not to judge Fall Creek too harshly. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Well met. Trinkets, odds and ends. That sort of thing. Okay, I, don't, I just don't own a console, so. I, uh... Ooh, ebony ingots. Buy those. I don't care how much they cost. And two filled... No, they're empty Grand Soul Gems. Don't touch them. No steel. Uh, do I have stuff to sell? I do. Wonderful. Seven amulets of Stendar. Brilliant. Get rid of that, get rid of these. Why did I just sell gold ore to him? Damn it, that was silly. Uh, yeah, I don't want those. Don't want those. Sell those. Sell that. He can't afford that. Can't, you can't afford that, but you can't afford any of those. But get rid of that. Get rid of those. Keep the cure diseases. Actually, I should check to make sure I don't have any diseases. Uh, I don't need that. Can't afford that, you can't afford that, you definitely can't afford that. Or that, or that, or that, or that. You can sell that, you can get that. None of the vampire armor. Okay, not all the vampire dust. Uh, and I don't want to sell the void salts. So let's sell, like couple of those. I don't suppose there's anything else that you've got that I want. would like to sell more of this stuff if I can.
it's not always misc if you just click too close to the left hand edge when you're Can I get you trying to sell to these people that sort of thing. come on so even if i click like there looking for something oh a bit of this and a bit of that uh ingredients already looked at books no i'm not going to want any of your books i sold you most of that and you didn't have the grand soul gem you've got graters but i don't want graters that's fine i can sell the rest later let's get Any steel you've got. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Actually, I'm kind of interested. The Vigil Silver Hand Armor only needs steel, so does the Veteran Armor. That's interesting. I would have bet that they would have needed, like the silver hand armor would have needed silver. I mean, I know it's named after the, excuse me, the group called the Silver Hand, which are vampire, which are um, werewolf hunters. But it doesn't mean it's not made of silver. It would be good if it was made of silver. That would surely mean you're protected more when a when a werewolf tries to bite or slash you someone take a look ingredients no void salt you've got fire salts but i don't want to make exploding fire i want to make exploding shock okay uh so from here we will go to riverwood It's at 1 p.m. Okay, what have you got for me, Alvor? What? Take a look. No, I won't take that. I'm starting to run low on money, but that's only because I've got a whole heap of really expensive stuff here I haven't sold. And because I've just I've bought a heap of stuff as well. Trinkets, odds and ends. Lucan, my good man. Um You have two filled grand soul gems. Okay, I'll take them. So, let's see. Major sneaking necklace. Alteration robes, restoration robes, ring of alteration, ring of conjuration, ring of wielding, sapphire, three scrolls, some vampire armor and vampire dust. And that's it. We've sold everything back to him. Basically got the money back that we just spent on the... Grand Soul Gems. I've been trained as a skull. As was my father, my father. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go to White Run. Let's go straight home. Any reason I'm not going to go to White Run is, is the only thing that I really want now is more Void Salt. And actually, I should go and make those arrows while I've got the make those bolts while I've got the Void Salt. And I can't make them at home. I've got to make them here at Fort Dawnguard, so. Righty, okay, Lash. Thanks for joining me, and see you later. Boop -boop -boop -boop. Okay, Dwarven. Bolts of Shock. 60 more. 
coming right up. And I don't think you have steel very often, do you? This is everything I've got right now. Oh, you got six steel. I don't know that I need. I'll take it. It's only money. Yeah, I need you to clear the way so that I can get out. Thank you. Okay, home we go. Frostroot Cave. sign of my goat so we'll come back out here and summon her there you go uh yeah come with me and then wait here and then give me all of that Right, let's see what we can do to enhance all of this armour. I'm not going to really do much with it. I think we're probably just going to end up putting it away somewhere. I don't know that the corrupted armour looks all that different from the normal one. It just looks like it's sort of smeared with blood and a bit rusted or something. Uh, it all just takes steel by the looks. I can now make it exquisite. That's nice, I get another level. And the veteran armor as well. So, is this armor better than what I've currently got on? Some of it is. I don't know which set I would prefer. Let's have a look. Ooh, that helmet, the silver hand helmet with the what is supposed to be like a werewolf's mouth with its tongue. Don't like the look of that. When it comes down to it, I'm just not a big fan of the helmets more than anything. Maybe the maybe the corrupted armor. That's the only helmet. I just don't like the the look of those open-faced helms. I don't know why. One seventy six, whereas the silver armor I had was one sixty seven. Okay. None of this is enchanted, that's the other issue. Let's, uh, I'm going to have to take more houses just so that I can put all these, this armor somewhere. Um, Don't have any weapons to put away. That's all good. Okay. 
Um, I guess we could enchant this armor. I mean, it's good enchanting practice, but I'm spending a lot of money at the moment on... I almost don't want to do this. I almost want to go back to the silver armor because I'm spending a lot of money buying grand soul gems so that I can enchant these things at as, at as high a level as possible. Look, I've got two grand soul gems on me. And we... No. I've only got a total of four grand soul gems. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to go and put the, get the silver armor back and put that on. Even though it's a few points less protection, it's already enchanted up to exactly what I want. And I like the look of it. So we're going to stick with that. We've got a level first. Let's do that before I forget. Uh, we want stamina. And... I really feel like I've got to put more points into archery. Oh, quick shot. I don't know if this works for crossbows. There's been nothing said about whether it does or doesn't. We could do a little test. Well, we can't really because we've turned the ability on. Um... If I took all those silver bolts, so is that the is that the good silver armor that I've got that I've got enchanted? It certainly is. Health regeneration, sneaking, bows, bows. And let's put that stuff away. Let's just really quickly switch over to these steel bolts because they're waste. They're they're garbage and. I can waste them as much as I want. Uh, I thought there was targets set up. Oh, there's those. I could use those as targets, I suppose. Was there no other, like, actual targets? thought I saw some somewhere, but it must have been back in one of the towns. Okay, we'll just shoot it. Not that it matters, but we'll just shoot at that. I mean, I don't know. Can't say definitively that it, ha that it is faster, but, you know. Uh, let's switch back to our Dwarven Bolts. There we go. Put those Steel Bolts back away because we don't really want them and we can't sell them at the moment. Because they're not really worth anything to us. So, I've got a bunch of ores here. Um put away. Let's do that before we forget. Ebony, gold. I didn't put those grand soul gems away. I thought I did. Okay. Uh, that and all of that. Okay, I have more Grand Soul Gems. I have six rather than the four that I thought I did. Uh, that's alright. So. What next? We have done that set with the Vigil Enforcer Armor. That's great. Um, what I wanted. I could do the Pets of Skyrim. Uh, that is a new quest. That gives me s s 
Sunder and Wraithguard, the missing tools of Kagranak. I don't really want either of them, but it's probably going to be a Dwarven Ruin. And I love doing Dwarven Ruins. Actually, I'm not going to get um, Hilda to follow me. I'll just summon her when I get to where I'm going, if I need to carry more. Oh, I've got to get out of this cave before I can fast travel. And I don't know where I'm going yet, because I've got to see where this location is. I'm not sure I've ever been to this location before. So, oh, it's up near Winterhold. Well, I haven't... Oh, yes, I have been to Winterhold. Brilliant. Yeah, I feel like I've got to go that way. Get there. Uh, let's do a save first. And I'm a bit parched, so... There is that. I was expecting wolves, but yeah, I need to start expecting vampires a little bit more often because I have started the Dawnguard quest and not finished it yet. Wondering whether I'm making it harder for myself by not actually completing the Dawnguard quest line, to be honest. Because it means I'm getting attacked by vampires at an increasing rate. And it feels like if I do want to then at some point go and do that quest. How far do we have to go from here? Oh, we've got a long way to go. I feel like I need to go up this way. And then over. Well, oh, actually it's... It's up, but it's down, because it's south. Yeah, I feel like if I'm doing... If I did decide at some point to complete the Dawnguard quest line, I'm making it harder for myself because all of the vampires involved are going to be much higher level. Um... So, I may actually be doing myself a disservice by not finishing off the quest line. I have never been up there. Probably go up there sometime. I think that's Azura. Maybe not. I am probably wrong.
What do we got? Expecting more badness down here. A bit hard to see in the whiteout conditions, but... Looks like things aren't too bad. That might be the location we're trying to get to over there. But I feel like I've got to go around there and up that way and back over. Although, there might be a path over this way. Up through there. Feels like. So we're going to give this, this a try and see if we can... Oh, that's a sheer rock face. How about we go over here? And do that. And then that, we can come up. That's good. Maybe we'll stop creeping for a bit. What the hell? That looks... That looks Falmer. I've never been here before. That's Falmer. That's a Falmer tote. This is the Sightless Pit. Okay, this is the location. I thought I was going up there. Okay. Am I just supposed to jump in? Okay, that's fun. Not sure how we get out of this. But we will worry about that later. At least this part of it is nice and bright. Is that someone sitting on the rock right there? I feel like it is. Yeah, reinforcement. No, that was just a shadow. This was obviously someone's camp. Pickpocketing increase. Warven dagger. Don't want any wine. Nothing in a barrel is going to appeal to me. don't see anything up there. I mean, the fire is still going, so that suggests something fairly recent. Dead body there. And there. Chest right there, and with a dead body at it. No sign of any Falmer, though. That's a Falmer arrow. I'm finding that's the second or third silver helmet I have found. It's rather strange. Not that I'm complaining, they sell reasonably well. How much was it worth? You know, that'll sell for 50 to 70, something like that. Uh, it's worth more than 10 times its weight, so it's worthwhile picking up. Because that is my general rule. I think I have the ability to walk over traps and not set them off. Yep, I do. Hmm. 
We know about that. Uh, right. I want to keep an ear out in case that disgorges a Falmer behind me. But I don't hear anything. Whoa. This is interesting. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting dungeon to explore. Well, not so much to explore, but how the hell do I get out of here? There's got to be another exit somewhere. Another way out. I tell you what, I better start finding some dwarven... Some stuff that can be smelted into dwarven metal, because... I do not... want to come all this way and not take home enough dwarven gear to make up a couple of hundred ingots. That will be most disappointing if that happens. Okay, so that trap there shoots darts from there, that's fine. Is that someone or something walking sort of sounded like it, but I don't see anything moving. Oh, that would be that one and that one. Okay. I think it was the spider I was hearing moving. It's when they, when they walk, it sounds it's like, you know, multiple people walking all at once. Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's just use that straight away on the bow. Although, you know, I'm probably going to end up, anything I shoot with that, I'm probably going to end up killing before it, um, the 10 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever it is, is up. So, yeah, I don't know whether I managed to skip that guy, because those ones, they don't always disgorge Falmer out of those. When they do, good to bypass them. Uh, was there supposed to be a trigger for that trap? Because that's a trap. A blade is supposed to fling a pop up out of that and spin around and chop you up. But I don't know what sets it off. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be a trap. It was just supposed to scare you into thinking it was a trap. Wow, I'm at a position at the moment that I'm just a little bit more OP than the Falmer I'm coming across because I'm taking most of them down in one hit and the rest in two, which is a very good way to do it, if you ask me, because otherwise you're there hitting them dozens of times. It's not fun. What's in the chest? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Quick save. Back to the ice tunnels. A little disconcerting that I'm sneaking and making so much noise, but I mean, I am wearing heavy armor. Anyone else want some? It's 
spider flopping down the stairs like that. Quite nice. Ooh. What? I can't even loot anything out of the Centurion. That's no fun. Another lingering poison. Got it from this side. No. We cannot... Loot. Centurion. Spite spider. Okay, looks like we've got everything here. Temple of, of Scrib? I don't know how you would pronounce that. Uh, I don't have to keep an eye out for traps, but I do want to keep an eye out for Wemma. I can pick up. Okay. Did I kill one of those bugs in a single hit? I did. That's not a spider. That. It, why can I never remember the names of them? Chorus. That's a Chorus. One, one hit. Sneak kill. That is beautiful because I hate those things. They are so hard to kill. And that's standard poison, which is a little bit better than the other stuff because it does all the damage instantly. But I don't really need it, but I just don't want to be carrying it. So, because the lingering poisons were doing damage over time, and as I said, you know, I'm generally killing these guys with one or two shots, so damage over time is not that useful. Hey, there could be one in there, and then of course, it would be... Is that one right there? No. There's that one. And... That one. Oh my, that was almost... What just injured me? There must be something behind me attacking me as well. There is. He was the one out of there. Thankfully, it was only a single hit to get rid of him. Quicksilver ore, I will take. The skulkers, yes, I want that. Uh, no. Lingering poison. It's not worth it. Gold, dwarven bolts. I didn't notice these guys here when I came up there. If I had them, I would have shot one of them first. Because the poison I had on the bolt might have actually killed one of the, those guys in one go. Is there anything there? I don't think so. I was going to almost say I don't care enough to check, but I do care enough to check. And I can't get to there from this side. That's okay then. Not back down there. There's nothing hidden there. And we've got that. There. Spooky. Saw one just up there. Is that one just sitting there? It is. Damn it. I missed him. Got him. Come on. Come into view. And got you. I almost didn't get him. That's the problem. 
It's actually aiming a touch too low. That probably hit him in the foot, if anything. Is that one right there? It is. Oh, and then with a spider right next to it, which I really didn't didn't notice was a giant frostbite spider either. There we go. I don't know what I thought that was. But I just did not connect it as being a spider. Are you also? You're not. You're just... Nothing. No one in there. That one back there. Staff of Ice Spikes. I think I'm just going to keep... Try and remember to keep... Um, poisoning this. Because i got a lot of... i got like 15 or something. Uh, frostbite Spider Venoms. And I really need to use them up. And there's another poison. So... Yeah. Being able to one-shot the... Being able to be that I can one-shot Falma is a good thing. So by adding a little bit of poison in, it definitely, uh, definitely makes it a bit more reliable. There's some gold in there. Need to pay attention and make sure I don't walk past any of those Chorus nests either. Uh, without... Dropping an arrow into them. Feels like there's stuff up that way I can explore as well, so I shouldn't get too fixated on just heading for the... The uh, final location oh yummy ebony ore I'm going to go over this way and I'm going to see what's up over there before we continue on well maybe that is the way to go because that stair there doesn't go anywhere and this here just sort of drops down into that and doesn't really go anywhere. You can probably get up onto that little bit there and head that way. This place is a nice big cavern. I like it. Anything back there? I really want. I said I wasn't going to go this way, and what do I do? I go this way. Is that ore? Did I just see? Is that ore just there? I don't know if I can get up. Oh, yeah. No, this is not ore. Okay. Neither is any of this, or that, or that. So I know there's something that way we can sort of go if nothing else pans out at the, over that way. Dead body on the stairs I thought was another Falma creeping down the stairs looking for me. There's nothing over this way. Didn't expect there to be, but worth having a quick, quick check just to be sure. Down the bow. I thought it was some of my crossbow bolts or something. Okay, this feels like this is the only real way to move forward here. Although I'm curious if there's anything down there worth 
investigating. Doesn't really look it. It's all good. Sorry, it's a little bit dark down here. I don't want to get the torch out, though. I'm concerned. Oh, what the hey. We got anything interesting around here? No. to double check there was no, no old abandoned chests or anything out there. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think I'm hearing a chorus up there somewhere. So I want to put that light out and go and see if I can find him and potentially put a crossbow bolt into him. Also interested if there's something up there. And yep, I was right. Critical strike. Very nice. Uh, yeah, have a quick look. No, nothing back here. It was worth the look. Okay. Ooh. Chest. Ebon sword. I thought that was ebony sword. I almost... Almost did a little yippee. Not that I... I'm going to use... Ebony. But if I'm starting to see Ebony equipment dropping, that would be nice. Okay, let's poison... Oh, let's do the frostbite bin for the moment. I've got three of those big poisons. If I see someone that really needs it, I can get them with the big poison. Uh, what else is there? Oh, just a... Oh, Dan Skeever. It's almost... That is a waste of a dwarven crossbow bolt. Back this way. Ooh, big dwarven chest. Uh, junk. 100 gold. Spell that I'll sell. Spell book I don't know I will sell. Dwarven boots are not worth it. They're not worth ten times what they weigh. And where are you? Gloom Lurker, just the gold. Thank you. I'm actually starting to feel like I'm not going to get the Hall of Dwarven Metal out of this that I really want to get. I haven't picked up much in the way of Dwemer objects yet. 
How am I doing? Oh, plenty of carrying capacity left. Abandoned cave. Is that it? Is that... Okay, there's some... In dwarven stuff. Plain and you shall receive, I guess. But it feels like this is... Oh, no, this is where we want to go. I don't want to go out. We want to come over here. I don't even remember what I'm looking for here, to be honest. Oh, that's right, it was that mission, wasn't it? Activate the Dwarven Pedestal. Enter the vault in the Sightless Pit. Sightless Vault. Save. Doesn't look like the water gets deep enough for there to be anything hidden in there. No treasures, no secrets, no tunnels, what have you. Okay, no little woven worker spots. That's a nice bit of architecture up there. So we shouldn't be attacked by anything just going through here. Find a way to open the vault gates. Click save. Okay. If I was a real bastard building this module, this, yeah. Um, find a way to open the gates. And so, you know, you get here and you go, okay, well, there's tunnel that way, there's tunnel that way. I'll go and have a look down all of those. Let's just actually see if the gates open without anything. Okay, you do need a key. I just feel like it would be the right thing to do just once in a, in a game like this is to have some quest that says, find a way to open the gates. And the way to open the gates is to go up to the gate and go open. It's the obvious way to open the gate. Uh, look, there's another gate there. I wonder if I can open it from that side without any problems. Okay. Potentially spiders or ball bots coming from that direction. Right, that still says unlock. Okay, so we've got multiple valves in here without any clue what they do, which ones I'm supposed to open, or what have you. Is there any rhyme or reason here? So that's busted. So I think if I was to open that, it would probably vent out there. Let's see. But vented there a little bit. So that doesn't sound like a good option. This one here is intact all the way through to there. That one there seems to be intact and that one sort of is as well. I 
I, I say we just open them all. Let's see what happens. It may be that you're only supposed to open certain ones. What, is there anything around here? I think I hear something clanking around out there that I'm going to have to kill. And let's open that as well. Quick save. Probably shouldn't have quick saved, but that's alright. Don't see anything at the moment. Still requires a key, apparently. Okay, there is a quest locator over there. Nothing here. What have we got? Aha! Uh -huh. What's on this side? Well, it says that's the one we've got to open, so let's just... ...risk our life. That... Restore steam in the left, left valve... Okay, so each of these sides. So I... Obviously there's one or two of these over here, or some of these over here that I have to do now. I probably shouldn't have... I probably should have just followed the quest marker initially. I didn't even notice, to be honest, that there was a quest marker. So we've got to... Earn this one. Maybe? Maybe turn it again, because it still says it has to be done, so maybe it shouldn't have been opened in the first place. I don't know. Maybe I've got to turn all these back on. I don't know. Let's go to the other side. <clears throat> Stop sneaking for a bit. It's taking too long. So this time we'll just do the one they want us to. I mean, I see steam there. And now there's no steam there, so... Having much luck.
that's got steam coming out there now we've got steam coming out there I'm going to reload that last save there. What a way to open the vaults. So we're going to go around. We're not going to touch anything. We're going to go around and touch. Turn on that valve back here. And then we're going to go to these. And we're going to do just the ones they want us to. That's doing steam there. That seems like that maybe is the right thing. And then we're just going to do this. We've got steam hissing out of there. What happens if I come back here? Nothing. Not impressed. Uh... Okay, so do that again. Apparently you've got to do each valve several times until the steam is flowing in the right direction. I don't know how you know. It is flowing in the right direction. But I'm hoping it'll tell me when it's right. I mean, I feel like that is probably what it's supposed to be doing and maybe I have to do each one of these valves in here I don't know but notes I have on it are not great to begin unlocking the gates you must first activate a vault release valve at the back of the room you must then solve two steam valve puzzles in the two side rooms 
which involve activating each valve several times and still until steam travels in the right direction. I don't get it. I don't know what the right direction is. Maybe there's more information on another wiki. Uh, let me have a look at the other wiki I look at because I don't like puzzles like this where there's really no clue, no feedback. I mean, there is a little bit of feedback in this in that, um, you know, when I do this, Okay, I've got steam coming out there. That sort of seems right to me. See, I'm not seeing steam out of this one at all. Not out of the back. Like there is, I know there at some times there's a bit of steam that comes out that way and other times there's a bit of steam that comes out that way out of this one. I'm not seeing any of that. So I don't know that that one's in the right position at all. Um, Same with this one. There's nothing to indicate that might be in the right, right or wrong position. I mean, maybe those things change when the when they're all in the right position. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, there's five there though. Because there's like one, two, three, four little colored lights there. So, do they change at all? Actually, I'm probably better just like doing this one here and almost see all of the value all of those No, that does not seem to be anything to do with it. It's not lighting up those. The light in the room isn't changing. You know, what? There's just no indications at all. Any of this is in the right position. Oh, I've said it before, I hate puzzles like this. Um, what is the location that we are in? We are in Sightless Vault. Let me have a look. Let me search. Uh, sightless pit, maybe? Does that lead, tell you about the sightless vault? Uh,
sightless. Okay, the other wiki I go to does not have any info on it. Uh, let's go. Okay. It says that the goal is to get the steam traveling in the direction of the next valve. So that's steam over there to that valve. Come on! Okay. Right, so now I've got a fair idea. So, the, que the, the clue was that one of the... I found another page on the same wiki that was talking about the same puzzle. And it basically said that you've got to make the steam, you start at this one, because that's the one that was highlighted, and you have to make the steam from this one point to the next valve in the group. Um, that's how you unlock it all. So let's go around the other side. We know we're going to get attacked after we finish that, so uh, no more running around without our weapon out. So this means we're going to need to have the steam heading in that direction. Now, the reason why it was a little bit different in the last one was because we're actually able to skip a couple because they were obviously already in the right position. So that... Okay, I think that is where the steam was supposed to be after that. So that one was probably already in the right position. So we just need to activate this again. Maybe that's the right position there, actually. We get steam from here going over towards this. We've got steam over there, but I don't think that's quite right. There's not another valve over there. No. And we're back to there. 
Ah, hang on. There's steam over there, which means that one might already be in the right position. So, what we've got to do now is get this into the right position. And that one there looks like it would, be, would normally be close. No, I feel like one of these is one of these must be set wrong. Let's, because I don't know, this one might have already been correct. But let's do that. Let's reset this one. Okay, that feels like that might be the right. Maybe? I don't know. Hang on. I feel like... What are the options for that one? Again. We've got there. We've got there. Let's change that one as well. So I feel like it should be going from here to there, up over to there, then to there, and then over to that one. It doesn't feel like it's correct that this is the first one in the list. I think I need to change that one as well. Okay, so that that is correct. That one there is coming over this way. So then this one here. Okay, that's done. That that opened them all. Ebony ore. Very nice. Uh, that should be it now. I think all we have to do is open this valve again. Holy crap. Run, 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 run. I need to change my bolts to something that might do damage to this guy. Run, 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 run. Man, he's fast. Critical strike on the messenger. What? How did that miss? Okay, should be able to get him down there. All right. Thankfully, that was pretty easy. But an ebony, ten daedric arrows. Okay. And a grand soul gem. Not going to complain about that. And. Wraith Guard and Sunder. Let's have a look at that. Is it just a weapon, is it? 
No, Sunder is the weapon. Five points of frost, fire, and shock damage each. And does 15 points of damage to stamina and magic. So is that like a single-handed hammer? It is. So I, t I guess technically it's a mace. Um, and then Wraith Guard are heavy armor gauntlets that resist fire, frost, magic, disease, and poison by 10%. Empowers keening and sunder when equipped. So what is what does that mean? Does that mean that thunder is now more powerful? Or is that some special ability? No. I mean, they all look very nice, but I'm not going to use them because I've got my gauntlets that are enchanted that are way better than that. Uh, in fact, though, if I put that away, that's going to bring that back out, isn't it? So I really want to unequip that. There we go. Wonderful. I mean, it's not going to be a problem soon because I'm going to put it away somewhere. Uh, ooh. And a chest to search. Gold, lockpick, that, that. Braces of eminent archery. Well, I know what I'm wearing for a little bit now. Ah, the orcish scaled helmet. That's the light armor. Silver staff of ancestors. Someone's an ancestral ghost for 60 seconds. Um, it's going to look terrible, but this is a much better... Uh, archery enchantment than my current silver gauntlets are so why wouldn't you guess the way out is back down this way and out through the exit that uh, we left alone Can't pick that back up. Well, it was worth checking, I suppose. Uh, already searched that. So there's this door here, which should get me out. Is this out to the snow? It's out to something. I don't want to take the chance. But there's bad. Actually, I'm curious. So my crossbow is 128 with those gauntlets on, and with these gauntlets on, it is 119. Well, yeah, I mean, as much as I hate... Like, I love dwarven architecture. I'm not a fan of the dwarven armor and weapons. They're just too heavy. Uh, you know, with exception of, like, dwarven arrows and bolts. Even the Dwarven Bow, just by itself, is actually pretty pretty heavy as far as bolts go. Is there anything that I need to be searching up around here? Doesn't look like it. I'm hearing a bear somewhere. But I'm going to leave him alone. Let's... Let's head back home with this, I guess.
I didn't even need to summon um, Hilda to help me carry stuff from this one. So, yeah, it's going to be a little disappointing haul of uh, dwarven ingots out of this lot, I think. Let's see now. I guess I'll just put the... We'll put the stuff away that we're not using. So, mostly... Thunder. And... Oh, that's a steel plate helmet of eminent archery. Well... Guess what we're wearing? Because that's better than our current. Uh, and Wraith Guard can go in there as well. Very good. Let's smelt up anything we can into ingots. Very nice. Always like having ebony ingots. Um, what are we looking at? I think I'll just sell that. Uh, actually, might as well just keep those on me for the moment. Let's see what we can disenchant. That's it. We're getting to the point where we're starting to know quite a lot of the enchantments. Do I have any... In, uh, soul gems? I do. Let's put those away. Okay, so... Hello, Hilda. Warven bolts. Oh, I had way more bolts than I thought I did. Hey, we still need eight more wood. I think I've got a couple of firewood left in here, or maybe just one. No, I don't have any left. Was there... It's common soul gems, that's scrap, that's the ingot there. Not some ore there, and we might as well sell that.
Okay, we'll finish smithing up the rest of this dwarven metal into bolts. I want to see if I can do any improvements on any of my gear. I, I think it's probably only going to be the... Oh, actually, I can't even do the bow. I've enchanted that. I've got to get a level. Is the thing. How much firewood did that give me? Six. I need two more. How far away I'm ages from a level. Okay. Sell that. We're selling all of this. Yep, yep. Da, 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 da. Put that away. What was that about? Oh, the mountain goat. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Maybe I can't. Um, lock picks. Sell that. Poison. Yep, 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 yep. Silver helmet. I got my other one there. Shaking grasp, spot, yep, 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 yep. All good. Let's just drop the woodcutter's axe over here. There we go. Wonderful. Um, right, we've got some selling to do, and then I want to hit some of the smaller Dwemer sites to try and start getting some more metal. So, let's make our way back towards Markarth. The other thing is, I don't know if it gave us the quest. I don't think it did. When we went and met the, just recently it was, Yeah. So just recently we went to went past Dushnik Yal at the, in the last episode when we got the spell night armor. And the orc there said that there is a way for us to become friends with the orcs. I want to become friends with a group of orcs somewhere. Because that will allow there is an orc mine somewhere around this area. I think, yeah. Maybe it's a little bit over there, but it's somewhere along this mountain range. There is an orc mine, and it is full to the brim with ebony. Uh, I think Craig's Lane Cabin, or one of the other little cabins around here, has, like, a couple of ebony spots in it. But it's nowhere near as good as the other one that I know about. Um, and so we really want to do that. What is the time? 12.50 a p.m. I had another run-in with a thief's guild. See what we can sell. I might go in to the Jarls and talk to the, the Jarls mage to sell some of this stuff. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Do have another grand soul gem. I think I'll wait. No, I won't. I'll buy it. Uh, so let's sell those to you. All of those, the books. Anything here I can sell, I will. Okay, that, those those 
any of this Dwemer stuff. Oh, I'm going to be able to sell pretty much everything I want to you. Uh, apparel. I don't need that, 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 or that, or that. And those. Now, Daedric arrows. Couple of dwarven weapons. That's the one that's going to be hard to sell to anybody. Almost think I should keep it. But I'll never use it. I'll just be putting it somewhere to have as a trophy type of thing. And I don't really like doing that. Um, let's get those because they are healing. What is the potent poison doing? 35 poison damage. Until next time. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelga. If I like if the mage up here has the standard 750 gold and I try and sell to her. Did we have an appointment? So you wish to master She's only got five hundred. If she's got a grand, a filled grand soul gem, which she doesn't. Okay, I'm not going to sell to her then. The only way I'm going to be able to get any money for that staff is to find somebody who I can buy like a grand, a filled grand soul gem off, and make up the difference that way. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Um, where's the stairs down? Over there. Because there is an apothecary down here, isn't there? Yes, right there. I want to see if you've got any void salts. This place has seen better. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Of sorts. A void salt. Very good. Uh. Where's my head? Well, look. Let's be sensible about it. College of Winterhold. Oh, I haven't been into the college yet. I don't know any spells either. No, that's probably not the best way to do that. Um, Barangar in uh, Dragonreach is my better option. Assuming he has a soldier. Oh, Carselmo. Carselmo is another option. I'm heading that way anyway. So let's see what we can get from... Farangar, and then if he's going to be a pain. What are you still doing here? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. You have a filled Grand Soul Gem, and then from that, you can afford that. There we go. I'm basically swapping filled Grand Soul Gems. Tempted to buy another one. And I did. Uh, let's buy that common as well and use the common to try and recharge our bow. Uh, no, we need to do that and then go, yes, common. Wonderful. Fully charged. Okay, I think we're doing good. Uh, we're not carrying anything we don't really need, well, except for the Grim Server and the Pickaxe. Both of which are actually pretty heavy. Um, is that a one or two handed? I don't know that I've actually. It's a one handed sword. I'm not using it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, hang on. No, that's all right. Let's do that. Radio. 
Um, what was I thinking? Oh, checking if I'm carrying anything I don't really need yet. Well, that's all needed. Uh, yeah. I'd like a couple of more healing potions. I mean, I've got a lot of minor ones, but I'd like a bit more variety. There. Food is fine. Void salt's great. I'd like to be able to get rid of some more of that, but I've got to finish quests first. Three grand soul gems, some lockpicks, and a couple of torches. We're doing good. We're doing really good. Okay, so... Let's fast travel to Dushnagyal. Now there is, a, as I was saying before about orcs, there is actually another place you can go. I don't remember where it is. I have to look it up. There is one orc somewhere that gives you a fairly easy mission to become friends with them. And then once you've done that, you're friendly with all the orcs everywhere and you can just walk into any orc any orc stronghold that you want and that's what i want because i want to be able to get some ebony ore eventually it's not super urgent yet because i can't work with ebony ore yet or at least not effectively i could with some ebony ore for example upgrade my ebony crossbow a little bit but i can't make it the enhanced version until i know how to actually work ebony um so that's yeah, that's a... If you call it a problem, it's a problem. Uh, I don't really call it a major problem at this point. It's just something to be aware of. Let's grab that and that. That. I don't care about the wine. Dwarf and plate we're going to sell. That, 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 that. I don't care about that helmet. Let's grab that, that, and that. Uh, we want that. Uh, yeah, I'll sell the Orc Mace. Oh, that was an increase. I didn't think I was going to get that. I was pretty sure that whatever that book was, I would already have had it before. The Clace of the Minor Knight. Is that really everything? Did I search? Yeah, I did search in the dresser because it says empty. Yeah, that is really everything out here. Okay. Over to the outlook. Expert chest. Ooh. It's very close. That was very good. Ring of Recharging. All right, Steel Soldier Armor. Okay, that's all gonna sell really good. Th unfortunately, none of it was Wemmer that I can smelt down, but that's okay. Um, let's go into Markarth. Actually, what was that? Oh, the Four Skulls Lookout. Four Skulls Lookout? What quest is that? Because I had a funny feeling that's the same location that the Crusader here is at. Pretty sure it is. Anyway... Let's, what's the time? It's got to be, yeah, like 6 a.m. I knew that because the guards just put their torches away. Um, we're going to go up and see Carcelmo. And at least start the quest that he has. Because we get a bunch, we kill Nimi, we get a, the process of killing Nimi will give us actually quite a bit of Dwemer metal. Because we can loot all the metal out here once we're friends with Carcelmo. Which is once we have... What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Looking for you. You idiot. 
I, I'm sorry. I, I got to. I'm here about the dwarven bolt. Ah, very good. Excellent. I simply must have this. I'll pay you double what it's worth. Wonderful. You've just made an important contribution to the advancement of a Dwemer scholarship. Spells and incantations. What have you got for sale? The talent to cast them. Three grand soul gems. I can't afford it. And I don't know that I really need them at the moment. But you'll buy that and that. It's too much for you. So that's almost too much for you. Both of those are definitely too much for you, and I'm not buying a Grand Soul Gem just so that I can sell those to you, so... Uh, Persistent. I'll let... If you deal with Nimi. Enthusiasm. Good. Here's the key to the... Do -do -do -do. Uh, switch to normal Dwarven Bolts or the first stuff that is going to be in here. A little while away, but uh, we don't need... Yeah, we don't need the, um, what's the name? The exploding bolts for the, the first spider and, and stuff that will come across Nimi. We will, but the rest are carrying too much. Alrighty then. I didn't think I would be already. Uh, Hilda. I need you to carry something for me. Okay, that's heavy. Let's just leave you there for the moment. That's everything here. Come on, get up there. Look, the chest is right there. Why can you not get to it? I never have a problem getting to this any other time. There we go. That last little jump. That's what we needed. That... Actually, there's nothing else up there. Okay. No sign of the spiders. Oh, I think I must have knocked that potion off. Get it in a minute. Why am I looking in barrels, for crying out loud? There's nothing in barrels ever that I want. At least not that I want at this stage.
What happened to the potion? I don't see any sign of where it dropped. Oh, I never knew that stuff was in there. Do now, though. Oh, it was. I, just, I think it was only a, just a really small potion, anyway. So, not going to worry too much. It probably fell through the earth or something. That's Corundium ore. I want that. Make me some steel with it. I wish you could smelt back down. Like, I wish you could use Corundium ingots to, with iron ore to also make steel. Because Corundium ingots by themselves are used with so little things that they're almost useless. And I've got a handful of them and I can't do anything with them. Because as I said, they're completely useless. Um, the banded steel armor is the only thing that you can use it with. There we go. What's going on? Oh, I'm getting stuck on a webbed up body. Um, yeah. Quick save. And missed. Two hits, and Nimi is down. That is awesome. Put the crossbow away now. I do not need it. So, I need something if I want to get through this. yet though. We'll go back to Carselmo, let him know that we've done this, which gives us access to loot everything around him, which includes a bunch more Dwemer stuff, so that we can make a whole bunch more Dwarven bolts. No, I don't want any more iron, got plenty of that. Right, and we'll leave Hilda where she is, but we'll go home and get her, or well, um, summon her to us. You wait there, Hilda, we'll be back for you shortly. I don't have much carrying capacity still. Might not be able to carry all of this. I, the artifact you have, as promised, is the key to the door. If you find Stubborn, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Oh, 
pretty much damn it all. Drop that, drop that. Need two more pounds. We will just very slowly make our way out to the smelter and smelt up everything that we can, which will free up a bunch of space. And then we will go and sell the rest of the Dwemer stuff that we can't smelt. And we'll be good. I don't think we've got a potion of strength on us. No, we do not. I do not normally carry them. They are good for short-term things like this. It's exactly this situation where they're useful. Where you just want to really go, you know, halfway across the city, smelt some stuff to, to free up some space before you head home. Maybe I'm used to sneaking so much. It just feels like my viewpoint was a little far above the ground. That's why I checked, because I felt like I was, like, levitating. You know, like half a meter off the ground or something. I think I'm just used to being, yeah, probably just used to being down in sneak mode more often than not. Do you have any more void salts? I know I bought from you just a day or so ago, I think. But we'll see if we've got anything new. The hags Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Yeah. Actually you didn't have anything last time I was here either. That's right. Damn it. I didn't see if I could sell anything to her. I really should have. Yeah, apparently you're not very good. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage.
81. No, I'm not paying that for Dwarven Metal. I don't know why I'm going this way to um, Arnleaf store. This is the long way around. Somehow I felt it would be quicker. Right. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Seem. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this. Thank you for your time. A bit of this and a bit of that. What you got? Two more ebony ingots. I will buy those. Actually, oh, by the divine. No, oh, no. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? Sorry to hear that. Take a look. Uh, potions. Nope. Don't want any of that. Thank you. Anyway. You need something. I should have looked for healing potions at the Hag's Cure, but. As per usual, didn't think of it. Okay, um, actually... What were you carrying? That? Stay there, um, put that away. How easy is it to get over there? It's very easy. Talk. I'll just beat me if I stop working. an act. Take a look. Right, I think... not going to get us any Dwemer, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a few items in Hilda's inventory so that we're carrying the absolute least we need to. So we'll keep all of that. You can take those. I should try and... No. Uh, yeah, I probably should try and sell those, shouldn't I? Um... Take the void salts and those keys. You can take that. You can take those. All of that. Those. Those. And I'll try and sell this. No, I'm. Take a look. Do, do, do. Sell that. That and that. And that. Come back. Very nice. Okay, so we are going to do the Coal Skegger Mine quest.
And to start that quest, we need to come over here and talk to them at the farm. Or the little mine over this way. Sorry, not the farm. This group of people over here. I think we can talk to almost anyone, but I tend to talk to this guy. I'm sure, but that's nonsense. You can't. That I do. If you want to grab a pickaxe and dig up some iron. No, thank you. But I will come back here to the coal skaker mine. Using up all my good shock bolts. Didn't have time to change them though. You got junk. You got junk. You got one of my bolts. Okay. This should be a fairly quick raid. Should not take much to clear this place out. But then we should be able to mine a ton of gold. Almost left that too late. Nothing interesting on the body. Okay, dead end with a bunch of gold veins. What's the knapsack got? Damn it. Somehow, somehow that bolt did not really alert them properly. Because now they've got no idea I'm here. Yeah, it must have been. You want to walk back into my field of view so I can show you how much you were hearing things? I'm sure a bolt through the kidneys is not a nice way to go. Loot when you're done, Tony. Loot when you're done. I think there's only a couple more in here. There's guy there and I think there's just the final guy at the end if I remember rightly he's just up there and we want actually let's use up one of our bolts of fire on this guy because I really don't want them anymore I hear him over that side. Yep. And what happens? 
I get the bolt back. Even though I don't want the bolt back. Uh, don't want anything from there. Let's start mining. I think I get like eight or nine ingots out of this when you smelt them outside. But it might be more than that. this level done. Mustn't forget the little glory hole back here. There's a potion of strength. That would have been useful a few minutes ago. Okay, there is two gold ingots in there. Often hard to grab. You've got to get them at just the right spot. Nearly done. Uh, 
Um, I was saying before, I thought I'd get like eight or nine ingots out of here, not in count, not including the the three that you pick up. Like I think I've got three gold ingots on me at the moment. Four gold ingots. I am way wrong. That's forty-two gold. That's twenty-one ingots. That will make. So that's currently 25 ingots. I'm not sure if there's any more gold back this way. I can't remember. Oh, yes, there is. There's this. These two areas here. So, yeah, you get a good amount of gold out of this. Um, and I know... Like, I like to just make gold rings out of it. Um really good for smithing gives you a lot of smithing experience um and they sell reasonably well but you can also any i should be keep i really should be keeping small build soul gems and just putting junk enchantments on them so that a it raises my uh, enchanting skill and B um, it increases the sale value of them so I guess I'm going to do that from now on I'm going to go go back home and just make up all of these rings because every gold ingot will make two rings so at the moment I can make about well, I don't, I haven't got the final total, but it's probably going to be about um, 60, 50 or 60 gold rings out of all of this. Because, I mean, there's not much else you can do with gold. It's rings or amulets. And if you've got gems, some certain gems you can use in gold rings and amulets. But I always... I can never remember which ones it is because there's certain gems that you can use with silver and there's certain gems you can use with gold and they're not the same but I can never remember which ones actually give you um, which ones are good for gold and which ones are silver and which ones are just never used for anything so I can never remember any of that so I always just sell all the jewels that I've got so that is 31 gold ingots. So that's going to be 62 gold rings, which I can then... Yeah, which I can then enchant and then sell, uh, which will increase my enchanting ability and at the same time um, make me a truckload of money. It's actually going to be hard to find enough places to sell them but i also don't have many small um soul gems at the moment because i've been selling those as well which i really shouldn't have been um so i don't want to i don't want to use it for any really big enchantments yet although i could just keep a couple uh no it's the it's the guys in the bunkhouse here that i've got to talk to isn't it in the barracks Kolskiger, you drove them off? Thank you. We'll head back to work right away. Take this. It's the least I can do. Thousand gold. Not going to complain about that. Good day. Uh, you can now... No, you, or you can sort of raid these chests without being stealing. I thought there was actually like another gold ingot in here somewhere. I might be wrong. Is it in the bucket? That's just iron ore in the bucket. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what I was thinking of. I don't need iron ore. Right. Let's go home. Where are we? There we are. Lost Root Cave. I'm actually considering going and getting Mia Watch as a house as well, because not to really use very much, but I've got so many sets of armor and stuff that I want to present, and I've only got, what, like, four or five mannequins in the house at the moment, in this house, and so I need more, 
so that I can you know, put all the different sets of armor that I've found that I wanted to keep. I mean, I could just sell them all, but what's the point? Uh, Hilda, my dear. Thank you. What have you got? Wonderful. Uh, we got a key. We'll put both those keys. I'm never going to go to the museum. Um, so let's put both of those. I mean, I need the other key if I'm going to go back and do more of that uh, mine. Let's just put all the dwarven, uh, all the dwarven um, ingots we've got. How many did we got? 83. And some ebony. Uh, the corundium we'll put away. Let's keep all of these jewels for the moment. And see if any of those can be used with the gold when I make rings. Uh, am I carrying anything else that I I get rid of? Those are sellables. Right. Uh, that's sellable. That's sellable. The tomato. What tomato? Avoid salts I want to use. I can't get rid of any of that. And we'll put those away and we'll use those to enchant a couple of the rings. So let's have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Jules. No. What are you doing, Tony? Jewelry. I can make a ruby necklace and a sapphire ring. Let's do the sapphire ring, definitely. I suppose we'll do the ruby necklace. We can always enchant a necklace. That's not a problem. Um, but the rest, we're going to be able to make... Yeah, nearly 60... So what's that? 38 rings... Oh, sorry, 58 rings. Uh, no. So... Well, let's let's uh, let's show you. I'll show you the. I won't make all of these now. So this this place isn't bad. Um. No, what I want to do is I want to put those away. Let me just go and put these soul gems away so I don't forget. And then we'll go and get Mere Watch. Mere Watch is really easy to to um, obtain. Uh, so we'll put these gems, these uh, yeah, soul gems away. That one, those, and that. Wonderful. Okay. So there, you, you've got three mannequins in here. So the dwarven, the, the dawn guard heavy armor that I've got, I've put on one. That was the soldier armor. No, that's the iron plate armor. And that's the light scout armor without the hood, because I broke the hood down because it had a, a archery enchantment on it. I could just make another hood to put it there to complete the set. And then in here, we have the ebony spell knight armor. Very nice. The heavy Daedric armor. It's a combination of heavy Daedric uh, armor and boots, I think. No, heavy da Daedric. The pl sorry, the plate armor and helmet. The Daedric plate armor and helmet, and then just normal Daedric boots and gauntlets. And then this one here is the Orcish plate armor set. Um, but in here, I've got a whole bunch of other armor sets. I've got the Vigil Corrupted, Vigil Enforcer, Vigil Silverhand, and Vigil Veteran complete sets. I've got some of my... We've got the Steel Spell Knight, 
we've got the iron spell knight armor and what else have i got the steel soldier armor set as well as the dwarven dwarven plate armor and boots and that's it that's all of those sets but i, I want to put them somewhere so there's six mannequins in here uh let's go and have a look at mere watch i think there's more than six mannequins in mere watch mere watch is a is a nice place if you saw my playthrough of um the legacy of the dragonborn the the relic hunter playthrough where there's the the dragonborn museum in um solitude and the idea of that playthrough or that mod that's a just a standard mod it's not a, a creation club one but the idea of that mod was you become a relic hunter and you find one of everything and put it in this museum the mere watch is like a mini version of that a very very small version um i find that it's this mere watch is just a little bit better than some of the other houses that you can get uh in the way it handles uh like it, it's trophy room and all that sort of stuff it's quite nice and it's it's very very compact it's a great little house uh mere watch i just part of me doesn't like it because the closest town is morthal back there and morthal is just excuse my french but morthal is the arse end of nowhere there is nothing in morthal that is any good oh come here you there is a um a chorus down there oh there he is he's moving around a bit damn it am i not actually hitting him there we go one decent hit and he's almost dead there we go uh early game that chorus is quite hard to kill but couple of hits there so this guy gives you the clue as to how you get into the tower and i think he has a couple of interesting items on him yeah all of that sort of helps so if you read the clues it mentions this and fire so i'm going to see if my exploding dwarven bolt is a good enough source of fire to to let me into this house and it is not so i'm going to do something i have yet to do in this game and that is use the flames destruction spell and that lights up and then a little ghostly rabbit runs over to the well hang on let me just get this out of my hand because i don't want that there later on and he jumps in there it lights up and you can now enter mere watch that's all you have to do and the house is then yours forever it is exceedingly simple now this place the bottom floor you've got bookcases these are bookcases these are bookshelves bookcases all full of stuff um i'll grab some of this stuff uh, i like to put all of my keys in that strong box it's uh, nice and handy there bed this is the main bedroom wardrobes um mannequin number one down here plus you know you've got a shield up there you can put stuff on um there's a couple of pieces of firewood here that you can take but there's no um there's no wood chopping block at this location that's the only other thing wrong with it so you've got an oven here as well as a lot of you know random supplies scattered around dining room table lots of food on that cooking pot there lots of ingredients here as well as an apple pie and the berry crystal or whatever it is uh, children's bedroom around this side 
more wardrobes, more chests, bookcases, etc. Um, and back to the bookcases, the inside area here then, you got lots of stuff sort of stacked up here on these bookcases. Shrine of Stendar there, some Stalrim there, lots of different books around the place, nice maps of Skyrim and um, etc. Um, and yeah, just a nice little living area here. And, you know, there's more coin purses up here and lots of stuff to sell, glass dagger and a few gems and stuff. But all, you know, if you don't want to sell it all, you can just leave it all there as clutter and it's fine. Then you've got, the only problem with this place, that little cycling noise in the background, which is the sound of this magical portal, which takes you up to the next floor, all right? And it's the next floor that's the really good spot. So there was only one mannequin down here, I think. And not really any other places to, or many, there was like just one mannequin and one, uh, you know, one plaque there that you could put weapons and shields on if you wanted to take that stuff down. Upstairs is where it's at. So you've got a fully decked out enchanting station here with lots of gems and stuff and I use that strong box there to store all of my soul gems normally when I'm here um this is a staff enchanting station so that you can make your own staves or staves um and you've got these heart stones that you need to charge them up similar to the way you need um want that quicksilver ore there similar to the way you need um soul gems for enchanting you've got your alchemy station here with a whole heap of extra ingredients i'm ignoring the outer walls for the moment some display stuff weapon racks more cupboards more weapon racks more display counters and then on the inside here you've got a garden area here which, you know, if you're just making the ingredients for vegetable soup, it is great. It doesn't have, hold a lot, but it holds enough. Um, you've got your... Sorry while I grab all that. You've got your armor workbench there. You've got your grindstone there. You've got your forge there. Let me just grab all of these uh, resources. And then... You've got your smelting pot there, so you can smelt. You've got your tanning rack there. Plenty of storage around here uh, with lots of spare resources if you didn't have what you need. And then the outer wall here, you've got so much weapon and storage there. You've got mannequins everywhere. So two, four, six, eight, 10 12 more mannequins here as well as the 13th one downstairs lots of weapon storage but some of these are actually named so you've got like the, cudgel, the champion's cudgel blade score blade you know blood scythe soul rend etc um these ones aren't named those ones are uh those ones aren't these ones aren't um that one isn't, but all of the but all of the jars with the different butterflies and beetles and stuff in them go there. You've got area for all of the priest masks as well as the three extra ones. Um, more named. This is all staffs here, and then you know some daggers up there. Uh, more named shields and stuff up here. That actually allows you to put Wuthrad and the shield of Yzgrimor on it. Um, you know, so just basically a, an insane amount of display. Yeah, it, it is literally the best, you know, more named weapons and stuff here. Um, and more named things here. I think the Oriel bow. I can't remember if there was somewhere to put all of the dragon claws. I don't think there was. Um, like the, I have used this place a couple of times in playthroughs. The only problem I have with it is no, um, 
no wood block to be able to, to make firewood. Um, but there is one in Morthal, so and that's really close. And the fact that Morthal itself doesn't have any decent stores in it. Um, so you really can't, if you've come back from a, a raid or whatever, and you want to go and sell stuff, you've got to go somewhere else apart from Morthal. Um, but I'm getting used to that, and I'm starting to look at it and say, well, it's not really a big deal. If, because at the moment, you know, the house I've got is all the way over here. I mean, it's reasonably close to Windhelm or reasonably close to Riften and sort of reasonably close to Fort Dawnguard. But the Tundra House, the Tundra House is, is quite good as well. Doesn't quite have the amount of display space that there is in Mirwatch. The reason I'm not showing you the Tundra House is it costs seven and a half thousand gold to buy it, and I don't want to spend the money on it. Both um, this Dwarven House over here in Frostroot Cave, whose name I cannot pronounce, and Mirwatch are free. You do have to do a little bit of a um, a little bit of a questy thing with this to clean up the the dwarven place because it starts all downtrodden and you've got to go downstairs into this area and wake up the machines basically um, but it's not hard to do um, it's pretty easy actually let me get rid of that quest marker for the moment um but yeah i'm seriously considering moving here because a it's much more compact um the dwarven house is a little bit big I want to go, you know, like I don't sleep much, but I've got uh, my enchanting room is right down the back of the building and my um, smithing room is right up the front. Whereas this one, everything is here. It's just the noise of this damn door drives me batty sometimes. Because it's just always there in the background. And like has happened here... If I do start picking up stuff, things tend to fall over a lot. And so I end up cleaning up a lot of the surfaces in here and just saying, well, I don't want any of this clutter around anymore. So I pick everything up and either sell it all or just, you know, chuck it in. Any, if it's anything that I don't want, I'll chuck it in a cupboard somewhere or whatever. These two staffs, you can enchant. They are not yet enchanted. And if you enchant one of them, I'll show you. You get so many levels of enchanting, it's unbelievable. And it's based on what spells you already know. So I can only turn this into a staff of flames because that's the only destruction spell I know. Um, it's probably not going to be that great at the moment because I'm already level 49 enchanting. But when you start the game, if you go straight to this place have the hard fight of killing the Chorus at like level three or four or whatever you might be at the time. And then you come inside, one, one enchantment of one of these staffs will give you about five levels of experience. Like overall levels, not enchanting levels. You get like a dozen levels of enchanting. Like that gave me so much enchanting experience even at level 49, just to make a Staff of Flames, which I'm now, of course, going to sell. Um, but yeah, the only thing this place doesn't have, which I have seen in one of the other, which the, which was in the Legacy of the Dragonborn mod, the, the museum thing that I was talking about earlier, the only thing that had that this place doesn't have was it had a Disenchanter which was a device which allowed you to remove the enchantment from um, a, a, you know, a weapon or armor and bring it back to a soul gem. So if you had an enchanted item that you didn't want to keep anymore and you didn't need it and you thought, well, I might just sell it, rather than selling it, what you could do was uh, retrieve the enchantment from it it's not disenchanting, it's actually taking the, the soul energy back out of the weapon 
and allowing you to use that in, you know to enchant something else these ones are creation club content the other one that i'm talking about which is the legacy of the dragonborn is not creation club but Mia watch and the dragon house are creation club content so if you've bought the anniversary edition you've got those for free Now, I had actually already bought Mia Watch uh, prior to the Anniversary Edition coming out. Um, I had bought a few Creation Club items, and that was one of them. Yeah, get that out of there. I don't want that. That's what I'm looking for. That potion. Okay, and there's another one still there. Yeah, we're doing it's nothing in that satchel. Let's grab all of that. Good. I definitely feel like I'm going to move here now. I'm in I'm in that mood where, yep, this is this is gonna be good for me. There's just so many resources here. Come on, give me that leather. That hide, whatever it is. Why are you not it's not even showing it as being a real thing? Uh can I get up on that barrel? Okay, I'll get up there and then I'll get up on that barrel there we go horse hide thank you uh missed couple you not and i'll get those ingots damn it all Um, there's another steel ingot there somewhere. There it is. Right there. Got it. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. I put. No, I don't want to do that. I want bowl. No, don't use the staff enchanter. those in there and let's grab that staff and put it in there uh, here we go nothing in there pickaxe woodcutter's axe can go in there Soul gems will go in here. And I generally put all of the smithing supplies in here. That, that, those, that. But now I'll put the gems in there as well. anything else that's going to bug me carrots and that sack salt pile there's not anything around here let's pick up some of these books that yeah i'll leave the rest of that I'm actually not a big fan of all the skulls everywhere either. But I'm not going to do anything about them just yet. 
Get rid of that basket because it's rolling around in the middle of nowhere. And back downstairs. I don't have any keys to put in there, do I? Get rid of that because I don't need that sitting there like that. Uh, that's going to fall over. And those are probably as well. Pick up those. Oh, there's also a shrine of Mara up there. Sell that at least. And those Dwemer bowls. Because they're worth a bit. Some coins back there. Knapsack. And there's just a lot of storage. Like more storage than I ever really need in this place. I only end up using a tiny fraction of the amount of storage in here. I don't particularly like the empty wine bottles everywhere. I don't know what these fine arm guards are, but they're light armor, they have an armor rating. I'm going to try and ignore most of the food sitting in here. I normally would get rid of it, but I'm going to do my best to not worry about it this time. Grab that. I am going to get rid of most of the stuff in here just because I want all of the food that I do actually want to keep in that barrel there and it's usually just potatoes and the other things to make vegetable soup okay let's get rid of that Get rid of that. Let's get rid of these books because they're liable to fall down along with that tankard. Ignore all of that. Get that book. That. That. Right, uh, yeah, take that jug. I'm going to ignore most of those except for those which are almost falling over but I'm going to leave all those books alone for the moment and those ones up there. Get rid of those. Uh, I can't do anything with that. That's okay. Okay, the stuff here on this table some of it has to go. I'm going to leave I don't even know what that book there is actually. I'm going to leave those couple there. I want to get rid of those I'm just looking at things that are likely to fall over and end up like that, littering the floor. So I do not want that. Uh, I don't want these books here. Get rid of that. That. That stuff I think will be alright. Get rid of that and that and that. And then that. Nothing in those sacks. This stuff tends to get knocked off as well. And I think we're good. I'm not going to worry about the stuff on top of there and there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this bookcase with all the books out of here that I can. And then basically we'll end up selling all this other junk that we've picked up. That, that. 
a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, I really wish there was some other storage. Can I put I can, can't I? Let's take everything out of this bookcase and actually out of this one. And even out of this one. So all books go in here. And this bookcase we'll actually just use to store anything we're going to sell right now. That and that. That. Those. That. Those. Don't want that. Don't want that. Keep those two. That goes. That goes. Yay, another void song. Right. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, probably outside of this episode, you know, before I stream next, I might try and move some stuff from the other house to here and get things organized. Because um, it is just definitely easier in this location to display things, to store things, to basically just work because it's so much more compact. Um, the, out of the quest stuff, I do want to do Pets of Skyrim and get all these, so that's probably going to be the next big thing that I do. And then, I don't know, I need to get some more levels of smithing, I need to keep working on that. But I'm also considering heading over to Solstein and doing some stuff over there. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this is going. Playing with crossbows is the only way to do ranged you know, archery in this game. Normal bows just suck. I've mentioned it in other videos. It doesn't work properly. They got it all wrong. Crossbows shouldn't be this powerful. They shouldn't... Well, I mean, they should be doing this amount of damage, but they should be way slower to load. Everything is wrong, uh, but I still enjoy it. So I'm ignoring the fact that it's all wrong and having a wonderful time doing it. But thank, thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all for the next one. Bye now.